and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I am your host Rebecca Felgate and I feel like you need to know that I love maps. I could stare at maps all day. Sometimes I get lost in Google Maps when imagining my future travels to Kyoto or St John's or Champagne. I want to go everywhere. However, I would be going absolutely nowhere fast if I used any of the maps on this list. Today I'm talking the top 10 scary maps that will get you lost. So before we get into the video, I want to play a little game with you. I need you to load up Google Maps, mm -hmm, and then close your eyes, move the finger around a bit, do some zooming in, do some zooming out, and let me know where you end up. I'm gonna play now. <laughs> where am I gonna go? <gasps> Guys, I've ended up in a very scary place. I've ended up in Hawaii. I actually was in the ocean, like north of Hawaii, but it's the nearest piece of land, and actually, being that far in the North Pacific Ocean is pretty terrifying. So let me know where you ended up in the comments section down below. Would you go there? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Maybe I'll read some out in a future video. If you like our content, make sure you leave a big thumbs up on this video and share it with a friend. If you want to read more of our sources, they're all in the description box as well as links to our most amazing Instagrams. Stick around to the end because I'm going to be replying to some comments. Coming in at number 10, we have the Lou Map. The Lou Map is a collection of Masonic symbols. It looks kind of Illuminati. The rumour has it that the map is of Nazi origin. The story goes that the map points to geographical caches of gold buried in the United States of America. This is kind of where things get wild too. It seems that the Nazis smuggled the gold in in order to sell it and then crash the United States economy, stopping them from entering the Second World War. Theories, theories. Apparently, Franklin Roosevelt was onto them and then signed the Gold Reserve Act in 1934 to prohibit private possession of gold. Busted. Somehow, smuggling gold back out of the country was harder than getting it in. The Lou map was created to locate the gold, but the German spies sent to retrieve it got busted by the FBI. Busted. CIA codebreakers could not figure out the map. Many literally drove themselves insane trying to do so. The story is somewhat believable as it is known that Nazi officers did hide treasures around the world. Coming into number 9, we have the Copper Scroll. The Copper Scroll is one of the Dead Sea Scrolls found in the 1950s but written between 50 and 100 AD. The Copper Scroll has details in which swathes of valuable items can be found. Luckily for treasure hunters, description of where the treasure can be found has been given, but unlike Luckily, as nearly 2,000 years have passed, the landscape has changed somewhat since then. Trying to find out where the treasure is using a 2,000 year old map? Well, it will send you insane. Here are some of the clues. In the ruin which is in the valley of Accor, under the steps leading east, 40 long cubits, a chest of silver and its vessels with a weight of 17 talents. You what mate? Coming in at number 8, we have the map to the Dutch mine. I'll take you down to the old Dutch mine. I feel like we need a remix. Actually though, it's no laughing matter. Legend has it that a literal gold mine was found in the mid 1800s in the Arizona Suspicion Mountains. The only issue is, it's cursed. Now known as the Massacre Ground, the Perlata family were said to have initially found the treasure but were killed by the Apash people who then hid the treasure again, thought to be worth millions. Since then, a German immigrant, Jacob Walt, settled in Arizona during the gold rush years in the later part of the 1800s. Walt then spent his life investigating the mines, claiming that he found the treasure. He made several maps to the mine with X marking the spot. Now, X was in the middle of a heart, but to this day, nobody's ever found the treasure. In fact, many have died trying. This has led a lot of people to the suggestion that the mines or the maps could be cursed. Following the map could lead to your demise. Between 1955 and 1977, seven people were found dead trying to find the treasure. More recently, Recently, Jesse Kappen was convinced that he could find it. He went out searching three times and never returned from his final trip in 2009. Coming into number seven, we have Frizzland. Want a trip to Frizzland? Sure you do. We all love a good adventure. But sorry, where is it? No worries, I'll give you a map. 
Cool. See you never. It seems in 1558 a Venetian chap named Niccolo Zeno invented the island just because he thought it was there. Why? Well, because he thought that his ancestors discovered it 200 years prior. It seems that Zeno had actually got confused with a part of Greenland and placed it as the site of a separate island the size of Iceland, which is pretty sizable. Scarily, Zeno generated a very popular map, and the Phantom Islands then appeared on other maps for the next 100 years. Some people even tried to find the island for themselves, but were sorely disappointed. Coming into number six, we have the Fen Treasure Map in the Rocky Mountains. What do you do when you're diagnosed with cancer? In 1988, author Forrest Fen was convinced that he was going to die, so he thought up an idea to bury a bronze chest filled with treasure. Now it contained gold, red coins, gems and jewels as well as his autobiography. However, he actually survived his illness, which is great for him, and then he decided to bury the treasure in two He then decided to bury the treasure in 2010 and contained a poem with clues in his 2013 book. His book, Too Far Too Well, actually contained a pull-out map of the area the treasure is buried in in the American Rocky Mountains. The thing is, though, the map might lead you to your death. It seems that once again people have died searching for the hidden chest. Now most of them were men in their 50s. I don't know why, but in the pursuit of treasure, it's often the men that die. Interesting. Coming into number five, we have the ghost map. This is one Jon Snow who certainly did not know nothing. A double negative, Rebecca? Yes. So the OG Jon Snow played an important role in the history of medicine. When cholera struck London between 1848 and 1853, disease was a big killer, but nobody yet knew how it was spread. Their best theory was through miasma, which means bad smells. In actuality, cholera comes from poor sanitation. It's a waterborne illness, so I guess they were kind of on to something, but it's bacteria, not smell. Good old Jon Snow, a doctor and anethiologist, was interested in learning more about the spread of the disease. He was curious as to why sewer workers and people who worked close to the river weren't actually showing a high likelihood of catching the disease because it smelled bad there, so they should be getting sick. He made a map of people who contracted cholera and he found a large concentration down one particular street. He found the people from the street got their water from one particular well, and he found this pump was close to a leaking cesspit which contaminated the water. His map was called the Ghost Map, and he discovered that cholera was a waterborne illness. He was the first person to do so. Jon Snow and his Ghost Map have become celebrated as one of the first studies of epidemics. I really love the game Pandemic, so this is pretty fascinating to me. Coming into number four, we have the Monster Map. It is a map. It is a monster map. Let's look at the map. Here be monsters, apparently. Check out this map from 1539. Geographic meets the supernatural as monsters appear between islands and continents. It seems like adding monsters to maps was the done thing in the medieval and renaissance times. The reason was that there was still a lot of mystery back then. People didn't really know what was out there, so the monsters suggested that these areas were unknown and possibly dangerous. They were warning signs. I have to say though, some of them look kind of cute and sweet. Sweet monsters. Ah. Coming into number three, we have the world's oldest map. We have come a long way since the first ever map, and I have to say, even now, that my Google Maps has the uncanny ability to get me lost. Imagine trying to navigate with this, though. Hello, meet the world's oldest map. This map is thought to be from ancient Babylonia and dates back to the 6th century BCE when the Babylonians thought that there were just eight mystery regions beyond their own. It's carved into a stone. I mean, not only is this map way out of date, but like, what does it mean? Coming into number two, we have this Uber map. Whenever I get an Uber, my driver always takes a murderous, vibey turn down a side road near my house. Apparently, this is because the Uber map system is somewhat flawed. But I'm actually just gonna go all out there and say it's actually pretty scary. Case and point here, it seems that in March 2018, an Uber driver took a very wrong turn when reading their map in San Francisco. They actually winded up driving down a flight of stairs. The driver ended up stuck on the stairs for hours. There are images courtesy of the KRON4 News Twitter, and oh my god, can you even imagine if this was your Uber and the driver's map reading got you I don't know, driven downstairs. I'd be utterly terrified. Nobody was hurt, luckily, but 
how does this happen? You hear stories about people using their GPS and turning into rivers and drowning, like, are we not using our eyes and brains? Maps. Dangerous. Finally, coming into number one, we have the map to El Dorado. Do you want to get lost and probably die of exhaustion and or dehydration? Then follow the road to El Dorado. El Dorado was noted by explorer Sir Walter Raleigh and is said to be a city of gold submerged somewhere near Lake Guatavita in Colombia. Raleigh claims to have discovered the city on his trip to Guyana and wrote in great detail about its treasures. He wasn't the first explorer to mention the city either. Many maps even pointed to it, which sparked famous historical search for the much famed South American city. The map placed El Dorado near a lake by the name of Parim, which actually has been proven to have existed, but it was said to have drained due to tectonic movements and finally it disappeared due to an earthquake in 1690. A lot of people died looking for El Dorado. So guys, that was the top 10 scary maps that will get you lost. What did you think to this list? Which of these maps would you follow if you had to? Do you think El Dorado ever existed? Where did the Google Maps game land you? Are you joining me in Hawaii? If so, Aloha. Before I go, I'm going to read some comments from one of my most recent videos, the top 10 mysterious people in history. Lauren Odenspire asked if spring Jack and Jack the Ripper were the same person, and to this I say, spring Jack, Jack the Ripper, very different people, very different ideas. Raise your hand if you get that reference. Obama. Osama. Raven Henderson said, I was just thinking, I hope that this video is narrated by Rebecca. She is a ray of sunshine. I'm so happy to see you. Keep being yourself. Thank you, Raven. Myself is hungry now, so I'm gonna go and get me a snack. I won't be following a map to my snack though, just my nose. What does it mean? I don't know. Find out next time. If you like this video, make sure you leave a big old thumbs up and share it with a friend. If you want to join our crazy family of almost 6 million, then go ahead and click on that subscribe button now. Stick around, we've got a whole playlist, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!